26 now, the Democrat plan to take out the 45th president. Hell or high water. Since November 2016, the modern Democrat Party has had a singular focus. Degrade in order to destroy President Trump. And as we get closer to the 2020 election, the pressure to achieve this nefarious goal and the vitriol that comes along with it is getting amplified daily, hourly. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, careful what you ask for. I think that's the category that Nancy Pelosi is in right now. Careful what you ask for because she's gotten impeachment and now the clock is ticking. The pressure is on because in a very real sense, Barry, she has to have this thing wrapped up by February 3. February 3 sound familiar? It should. That's the Iowa caucuses. All this has to be done by then. I don't know that necessarily it will be. She has so many problems with this concept of impeachment. When I say she, I don't mean personally. I mean as the shepherd of the House Democrats. She promised not to bring any impeachment vote unless it was bipartisan, because it ought to be bipartisan, as she rightly said in the past. It is completely nonpartisan to the, I'm sorry, completely partisan, I should say, because it is all Democrats, except for a couple, and no Republicans, meaning the indignation is just on her side of the aisle. If she brings the vote, which she says she will, and it gets to the Senate, a number of senators aren't going to be able to campaign in Iowa, right. New Hampshire, North or South Carolina, or anywhere else, because they're going to be in trial, and they're going to be obliterated by a lack of facts. And most importantly for the Dems, their leading candidate is going to be subpoenaed and going to be put on trial by the Senate GOP, meaning Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and their clear quid pro quo with Ukraine. I hope you're right. I, I hope the Republicans in the Senate have the backbone to subpoena uh, all those people. I'm not certain that's going to happen. Hope and pray it does, because the American people deserve the truth. But right now, the Democrat caucus in the House, um, the, you know, they're not 100% on board. There are many members of the Democrat caucus, I think there's 31, that are in Trump country. And they're worried about an affirmative vote on impeachment and you know gotta hand it to the rnc they're running ads in their districts right now like this one roll tape that charlatan in the white house we're gonna impeach the motherfucker. i am not running for anything except the impeachment of trump we cannot accept a, a second term for donald trump if we don't impeach this president he will get reelected. Okay, so this is why, Barry, I say that the impeachment affirmative vote, that is affirming articles of impeachment and then passing them to the Senate, is not necessarily a done deal. And, you know, from what I hear, they're not whipping the vote, meaning uh, the, the, the majority whip is not going around saying, hey, come on, vote for impeachment. They're not doing that in this process, which tells you something. Well, yeah, the American people, Graham, are speaking out. The longer the evidence is being presented that doesn't prove anything, polls are dropping amongst the general population in favor of impeachment. It is now a losing proposition amongst the general population. And if you're in a swing district, or even worse, a Trump district, and you're a Dem, oh my gosh, you might be putting your career on the line having to defend impeaching a president without any evidence. People don't like that. They want their government to govern and solve problems, not to make this about defeating Trump in impeachment, as Green said, because if we don't impeach him, he's going to be reelected. Uh, most Americans are not going for that political theory. And of course, a lot of these Democrats were elected in 2018, especially in California, ostensibly as being moderate Democrats. They vote affirmative for impeachment, Barry. Huh. They're anything but moderate. And the American people will hold them accountable. I guarantee it. Barry, thanks.